Thanks for checking out this video. So we will be tackling what's coming to the Shutter Horror streaming service for the month of December, which these things always get me excited because I'm always excited to know what's coming to Shutter the next month. So I can kind of like get amped up, figure out what I want to watch and do reviews on. Uh, but also this is particularly important for me for December because I'm not the biggest fan of these types of holidays. Like, I like the food of Thanksgiving, and I like the presence of Christmas and spending some time with family, but you tend to start getting too many expectations thrown on you, and you have to go to all sorts of things, so it's kind of a crazier time. Plus, I'm more of a Halloween-type guy, and if you're watching this, you probably are more of a Halloween-type person, so it just gets kind of sad after October for me, and particularly in December, so... I'm going to be relying heavily on Shudder in December to keep me in the horror mood, to keep things a little more even keel. So, that said, very excited about what's coming to Shudder in December. Now, before I uh, do this, there, in the past I've been doing, you know, just saying what's coming to Shudder and not saying where it's going to be. So, the email that I get, it's for what's coming out in the United States on Shudder, but it'll also denote for each show or movie if it's going to be UK and or Canada as well. So I will say that when I'm going through them individually. So there you go. All right, so coming in December, the big things. There are some Shutter exclusives. Now, the first one is one I'm very excited about. I've heard only good things about this film, including in the horror magazine I like to read, Rue Morgue magazine. I uh, had great, great things to say about this. So when I saw that Shutter's getting it, I was like, awesome. The Headhunter. That'll be available on December 5th. Uh, on the outskirts of a kingdom, a quiet but fierce medieval warrior protects the realm from monsters and the occult. His gruesome collection of heads is missing only one, the monster that killed his daughter years ago. Driven by revenge, he travels wild expanses on horseback, looking for the monster. When his second chance arrives, it's in a way, it's in a way far more horrifying than he ever imagined. This is a Shudder exclusive, and it will also be available in Canada and the UK. So good on that. Very excited about that one. Uh, next, we have one called Trevisa, which comes out the 9th of December. Three notorious gangsters who have never crossed paths find themselves in the same restaurant at the same time, and their fates are changed forever. This fictionalized story about three real-life criminals was showered with awards and nominations, including Best Film at the Hong Kong Film Awards. This is a Shutter exclusive, also available in the UK, but not Canada, unfortunately. Sorry. And then one thing, uh, one thing we're very excited about. Well, let me do this other thing first. There's a show coming to Shutter called Iskander, and uh, it's called Iskander: Shadow of the River. This one's coming out the ninth as well. Uh, in French Guiana, a couple have been slaughtered on their boat, and their young son is missing. A uh, missing. The case falls to a pair of cops who don't exactly get along. Chloe, a rookie on her first day, newly arrived from France, and Diallo, her Guyanese partner, a local cop who knows the territory and its secrets all too well. The clues lead them on a feverish journey through the city and deep into the rainforest where ancient rituals connect the crime with a disturbing and unsettled past. This four-episode French miniseries is an intense tropical thriller that's perfect for binging. It's a Shutter exclusive, also available in the UK, but not. Canada. So, sorry. And then the big thing that everyone is waiting for, well, not everyone, but a lot of people are waiting for, is Joe Bob's Red Christmas. This will be on Friday the 13th in December. Um, I don't need to go into a description of that, because if you know Joe Bob, you're already excited for it, and you already know what's going to happen. So, let's see what awesome stuff he has going for that. I'm very excited about that. This is one, unfortunately, not available in the UK, but will be available in Canada. So, it goes back and forth. Canada is going to get some that UK won't. UK will get some that Canada won't. But thankfully for me, US will get it all. So I'm excited. All right. So they have some uh, some featured collections that they're putting up. There's one called Unhappy Holidays. I'm not going to go over everything that's in there, but if you have Shutter, just go check that collection out. It's a bunch of you know like Christmas holiday themed shows and movies that they're going to have on there, just in one spot, so you can kind of grab it all if you want. Horror for the holidays, basically. So let's move on for the other stuff coming Shutter. December 1st, The Lost Boys. Um, I'm not even going to read this one. Everyone knows The Lost Boys, you know? So, yeah. 
it doesn't sit and these don't signify at this point if they're i assume they're going to be available for canon in the uk as well because they're not saying otherwise so the lost boys the people under the stairs that's another one i'm not going to go into because everyone knows the people under the stairs i would hope that people know the people under the stairs um yeah or should i read these no i'm not okay sorry <laughs> the lost boys that's on the first the people under the stairs also the first the serpent and the rainbow also on the first and shocker on the first so those are all Wes craven films after after the lost boys those are all Wes craven the people under the stairs the serpent and the rainbow and shocker all Wes Craven films on available on the first. I'm excited for Shocker because I've never seen it, but I've heard really good things. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and read the description of that one because I am I have not seen it yet. After being sent to the electric chair, a serial killer uses electricity to come back from the dead and carry out his vengeance on the football player who turned him in to the police. Yeah, I'm excited to watch that one. Uh, also on the first is Sleepwalkers, directed by Mick Garris. I'm a fan of Mick Garris. I've heard mixed things about Sleepwalkers, but I will check it out because I'm a fan of Mick Garris, so uh, I owe him that to at least see it once because I haven't seen it yet. Tanya, a sexually curious virgin, falls for Charles, the new boy in school, only to learn too late that he's a life-sucking sleepwalker. Charles and his mother are the last of a dying breed who are able to stay alive only by feeding on the life force of virtuous young women. Able to mutate at will, they roam the earth, forever fleeing discovery while searching for the next victim. But it turns out that the Sleepwalker's Achilles heel is the domestic house cat with whom they share genetic information. So I believe this is based on a Stephen King book. So, yeah. Uh, I will check that out, like I said. Now, coming December 2nd, this is a streaming premiere. Apparently it's never streamed anywhere before. Deadly Games. Here, uh, he is nine years old. His name is Thomas. He is a little genius. He believes in Santa Claus. His two favorite pastimes, computers and superheroes. Hidden under the dining room table, Thomas awaits for Santa Claus. But what he doesn't know is that he is able to experience the most frightening night in his entire life. That sounds very intriguing. I will definitely check that out, especially because it's like a holiday-themed horror thing. So, And you know, my wife does the whole... Um, you know, I do 31 horror films in October. My wife does 25 Christmas movies in December. So sometimes I can talk her into doing throwing a horror movie in here or there if it's related to Christmas. So I'll have some options. And like this one, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Going to make an admission right here. Sorry, people. I have not seen the first Silent Night, Deadly Night. I will be watching it, though, because I actually own it a Someone had given it to me. I think my buddy Rich had given it to me, and um, I just haven't watched it yet. But I will, probably this, this December. So Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. It's garbage day. Ricky is getting out of the mental hospital, but he takes with him the terrifying memories of his brother Billy's death and of Mother Superior, who brought about his sibling's demise. Starting a new life means avenging his brother, which sets him on a journey of revenge. And when he gets to Mother Superior, not even her faith will be enough to stop Ricky as he follows in the family tradition of Christmas Carnage. Now this one says, also available on Shudder in Canada. Oh, and also uh, Deadly Games said also available in Canada. So I guess UK is not getting Deadly Games or Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. So just know that. December 11th, a film called Perfect. Produced and scored by Flying Lotus... I don't know who that is. An executive produced by Steven Soderbergh. You know who that is. Perfect introduces Garrett Wiring as an emotionally troubled young man. His mother sends him to a clinic where the modernist serenity whispers soothing promises of perfection. By planning plug-and-play enhancements directly into his own body, he is relieved of his dark, twisted visions, but his body pays the price for purity of mind. That's another one... Kind of interesting. Interesting premise. I might check that out. This one says also available in Canada. So UK, sorry, you're not getting that one. Inner Demon. In Ursula Dabrowski's twist-filled thriller, a teenage girl must fight for survival when she's kidnapped by an evil psychopath couple with a taste for torment. I'm already in on this one. Sounds interesting. Samantha soon manages to escape into the woods where she stumbles into a secluded home. But Sam's story and her long night of terror is far from over. 
well, it's got to be far from over because it's a whole movie. <laughs> this mo <laughs> this house belongs to someone she's already met, and there may be another resident living there, one who's not exactly flesh and blood. Nobody does brutal crime thrillers better than Australia, and this seriously scary story is no exception to that rule. This one is also available in the UK and Canada, so all around Shudder. December 6th, or 16th, class of 1984. Norris, an idealistic and naive music teacher, has moved into a new community with his pregnant wife only to find his new job is an academic abyss. Appalled by the crime-infested school, Norris soon crosses paths with its teenage kingpin, the shrewd and sadistic Peter Stegman. With Norris setting his sights on reforming Stegman and the young punk declaring war on his teacher, the duo is on a collision course for a fateful showdown. This one also available in Canada. Michael J. Fox is in it, by the way. I have heard of this one. I've not seen it, so I think I have to check it out. Next, From the Dark. A young couple are terrorized by a mysterious creature that thrives on darkness in this Irish horror film from the director of Stitches. I haven't seen that film yet, but it's been in my Netflix queue for a while, and I will get to it eventually. Woe to Sarah, whose boyfriend Mark ignores their GPS, landing them smack in the path of a truly frightening monster. Together, the couple must wield light-making devices to escape before it's lights out on them. Maybe. Because I do like a good like creature feature here and there, so if the creature looks good, I'm in. Although, I guess I'll have to just watch it to find that out. Or if I hear online people's rumblings. And then the last one that I'm going to tell you about, I'm definitely in on this because I love documentaries and I'm very interested in this individual person and learning more about them. It is the documentary Smoke and Mirrors, the story of Tom Savini. Uh, this is a streaming premiere as well. It's not streamed anywhere before. Special makeup effects legend, actor, director, and stuntman Tom Savini has redefined the horror genre with his arsenal of talents. But who is the man behind The King of Splatter? From his childhood in Pittsburgh to his tour of duty during Vietnam to his beginnings with George A. Romero and beyond, Smoke and Mirrors is the defining documentary on the life and career of a horror icon. This one is also available in Canada, so I'm sorry, UK, you're not getting it. So, very sad. Anyway, uh, just wanted to let everyone know the exclusive ones that I listed on here, The Headhunter, uh, Trevisa, and Iskander, that show. I'm going to be doing screeners for them while I requested screener copies from Shudder for that for those. So hopefully I'll be able to put out reviews maybe a day or two before they hit Shudder. Uh, not, no spoilers. When I do new things like that, I will never do spoilers because... Um, it's just too new, and I want everyone to check things out for themselves. Plus, I am able to explain things well enough without spoilers to give you an idea of if you want it or not. And if you've already seen it, watching my reviews, you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm just hinting at things, and it won't give anything away. So, anyway, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that stuff. Put some comments down there. What are you most excited about? I have a feeling most people would probably say the uh, Joe Bob event on the 13th, Friday the 13th. Uh, that might, mm, that might be what I'm most excited about, but right behind that would be the headhunter. I'm really psyched up for the headhunter, heard so many good things. I really hope it's a situation where I'm not like s expecting so much that I'm disappointed, but we'll find out. I'll do a review on that one for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Anyway, more comments down there on your thoughts. Uh, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe. It's your best way to motivate me on this. I'm not doing any of this for money. But I would just like to grow the channel, get it out there more. And uh, that's the best way to show that you care and you like what I'm doing. So subscribe, please. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. And until next time, keep it brutal.